Janet Shaw from Scrap Secrets and welcome back to my channel. Today is Wednesday and it's my day to post for the hashtag Till Death Do Us Craft October 2021 series. And today we're going to be making this slimline pinwheel card. So to start off, we're going to be making that tube that you see in the middle. You are going to cut your paper down to the same size that you want the height to be. So I wanted mine to be three and a half inches tall. So I cut it down to three and a half inches by four and a half inches, scored at every inch, and then there was that little quarter or half an inch left and I put glue on it to create that tube. Now you're gonna have one inch sections where you're going to wanna put some type of glue, a strong glue, because this is what's going to create the pinwheels. So these are going to have to withstand a lot of movement. So I'm using the ATG and placing the glue to the right of what that score mark and putting the cardstock down. And I believe these pieces are three and a half by four and a half because the slimline card is going to measure four and a quarter by three and a half inches when we're all when it's all said and done and folded flat like this. So now you're just going to go back and make sure you put all four pieces in and once I've done that you're going to see me play around with it and move all of the pieces around to make sure everything is stuck down to the card base. Now you can change the size up of this. You can do a uh, not a non slimline card you could do a square card you could do a lot of different things with this so play around with the sizes and see what works for you I took some pattern paper that I had in my stash there's four different designs and I cut out for the larger rectangles two pieces of the ghosts and two pieces of pink with some white stripes and then I also cut out some skulls and some fall leaves that had some of that similar colors and there Lucy was trying to help me I guess she always has to get in my videos one way or another. So I am gluing the leaves down next to the ghost paper and then on next to the pink and white stripe paper will be the skulls. And I went around on all four sides and did that because now you're gonna have eight sides to decorate. So this was a lot of decorating for me and I did leave out most of the decorating and the coloring. I thought that I recorded it, but I did not. So unfortunately you're not going to see it, but you will see everything in the end result. You guys know how to stamp and color, so it's not um, detrimental that I didn't record it. I just wish I would have and I would have put some of that uh, footage in there because you guys know I usually keep some of that stuff in, but I wanted to let you know why it wasn't in this video. So we're gonna glue all eight sheets down and once that's done, we're going to start decorating. I picked out a couple of stamp sets from Sassy and Crafty and unfortunately they are no longer in business so I won't be linking them, but there are other images out there. You can do this for any holiday, a birthday. This would be super cute for a little kid because it's so much fun to flip the card over and look at every single side. I decided to do two of the sides with pockets. One is going to be a regular straight pocket, which you see here. So I just cut this piece down. I think it was actually just a scrap. And I used my Honey Bee Precision Glue to create a pocket. And then on another one, which you'll see on the end, I actually did it at an angle. So I created a triangle and did a pocket on the side where it's taller on the right side and smaller on the left. So I did show you me stamping this out because this was the part that I recorded. I believe Lucy did jump back up on my screen and I think that I, or on my desk, and I think that I forgot to hit record again. But we're gonna be using some, I believe it's Catherine Pooler Midnight Ink to stamp these images out. And then I'm going to use some regular color pencils. I had Prism Color colored pencils to color them in. I don't normally use Prismacolor colors, but for some reason I just really wanted to use them with this. I was in a color pencil mood and didn't want to do water coloring, which I know is shocking. So I stamped this adorable cat image out and I don't think that I show you guys coloring this in. I think I just show you stamping it. I did have to stamp it a couple of times because I don't think I've ever used it, but that's what I did. I, you could put it in the pocket. You could put it on the side. There's so many different ways you can decorate. So now I'm showing you all of the different sides that I decorated. And there you saw the 
triangle pocket and then some of the sentiments that I put on there and it's just so much fun to twist the card around. So I hope you guys tried this fun fold out, this pinwheel slimline card. Let me know in the comments below if you like it, if you've ever made one. And I will see you guys again real soon for another video. Oh, also make sure you check out all of the participants linked below. I will have everybody's date, everybody's Instagram and YouTube so you can go over and check everyone out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again real soon.